Well, everybody, on this episode, we do a little mini projects here and there, and one of them is sitting right behind me. So stick around and see you in just a moment. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Lifecraft Episode 9. Yes, 9. And you can see some weird contraptions sitting behind me. Well, we're going to get to work on that today. I got a few things planned, a few things to also discuss. For one, I made a sugarcane area. Now, this is what I'm going to use. It's just a basic redstone timer. And we're going to be using, well, a full inventory in the hoppers. What that does is create a timer for about eight minutes. And what it's going to do is pulse up here and basically knock all these down. Now this thing does do very well. It gives me over a stack of sugar cane per cycle if it's all grown. That's the main thing, if it's all grown. And there's my carrots. You also notice I also have a couple of nether stars. I actually had enough for to make her to summon the wither two times. And yes, that's two more withers or two more beacons we can make. Which is great for what I have planned and everything else but here's another thing I'm going to discuss well the server is going to be updated to 1.14 oh that was that uh, that kind of threw me off for a second I was like wait what um, so there's gonna be a few changes going around and yeah I think it's going to be really cool for the changes, but some of our builds, like the village breeders, we all know those kind of get a little funny whenever, uh, oh, I think I'm missing a guy. Nope, they're both in here. Oh, no. I didn't think this through. I should be able to uh, rock it out, hopefully. If I don't hit that. Come on. Or do that. Yeah, I have quite a few villagers built up in here. Oh, not using my silk touch. Dang it. Silk touch. There we go. Uh, yeah, the villagers are going to be kind of broken from what I've heard. But I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And I'm going to knock that out because I don't know if things can spawn up there. There we go. Yeah, I don't need a repeat. Uh, I did actually set all this up where they're all back there now. Not all scattered out through here. Did change out the concrete. I put uh, gray concrete. I thought it had a nice little accent to it. And yeah. And also, side note. I appreciate all the help with the villagers but apparently on accident i built something right see the potatoes this guy is full of seeds so he can't actually get any food and this guy has food so what he'll try to do is throw it to him through the wall but he can't get accept it no matter what so the mine carts underneath will actually pick it up and i did that on both layers oops a little bit higher there we go and see this guy is actually trying to throw uh, the carrot guy tries to throw him over here so somehow on accident I built it right so just in case you guys need to know he's full of beetroot seeds so he can't accept food either and I've been doing pretty good on this actually um, let's come over here and I've been testing checking them seven stacks is what I had at one point in time if we come up here and look let it drop down there I have a little bit more than seven stacks so it is working working beautifully actually which is what I want to see so go ahead and put that back up there and beetroots I got a whole stack potatoes beetroot seeds wheat seeds now, wheat I've actually been using, so I don't have extra. So let's go ahead and set up this uh, timer 
back here and I'm just going to go ahead and take everything from here except for we don't need the uh, redstone lamp we just need the observer I just shown that as an example I think if we could take that one out put a stack in there we can see whenever it pushes over it'll update this block which will send a signal to the repeater which will go into the lamp any day now it should be happening pretty soon actually there you go see so let's go ahead and pick up all this it's two sticky pistons I should be able to remember how to make this there we go get the observer and that there we go now I already kind of dug out an area back here and I'm gonna show you guys how this is all set up and then we're gonna have to work on a system that's gonna go up into here and basically what it does is it knocks all of these down and they land in here it goes into here I'm probably gonna have a water stream come up and go into these two hoppers right here so here's the basic part where I'm gonna put it now what I want is the repeater right here and we want the observer I think they yes that's perfect now oh wait I'm building this wrong oh maybe I should have set this up out there okay there's that and we could actually use that torch to help us out there's one sticky piston and here is the second one now all I need is to put a light up here got four pieces of redstone which is all we need one there one there a block here a block here we get our two comparators one going to this one one going to this one and we are almost done I don't want that um, I want these one hopper here and the other hopper here now this should be pretty straightforward and simple one two three four five and you just heard it all activate and it wasn't completely full but hey that's not too bad and you notice it all knocked down so it all came in here so this is a functioning clock and the way I got my redstone wired is it'll pulse out here go into one of these repeaters the first set will come over here and set off all these and the next one will actually staircase up there using slabs into the same type of uh, pattern I have so this is all functioning and we'll see it whenever it goes through that much so about four minutes away which I think I might not have enough cobblestone in there or I might have too much well we'll see in just a minute so next thing we need to do is the system to deliver it which is gonna to have to go underneath all this back up and into here shouldn't be too bad but we'll have to see we we'll have to count out how many blocks we're gonna to have to go back which is one two three four five six seven I'm gonna put nine back here just to make it a little bit safer and so I can put a back wall on this so we're gonna have to go back nine so how about this I'll dig this out real quick and I will come back and see what we have done all right everybody I believe I have everything I need um, this should be kicking in I only destroyed the redstone once now I use kelp to get it up there using signs to hold the water back there we go should stop there let's go ahead and dig out this dirt 
and put in soul sand. There we go. Now it should take you automatically up to the top and kind of slowly go out. So I did make a way out. So it should be good. Just want to make sure it goes. Yep, it goes in. Um, I kind of blocked myself in. Now this should be firing. Oh, we got three extra pieces. There we go. Now, if I hurry, I should be able to see this go all the way up. If I can go up here. Did it already go through? Is it really that fast? Maybe. Well, the easiest way to tell is to jump down here. Yeah, it already... Well, most of it. Except for this one piece. So, that, yeah, that's all functioning. And it goes directly into my system. Wow, ah, that's actually... It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Maybe if I sit around for a minute and I can make sure it, it all goes in. So, this is going to be like a small little time lapse. Probably like just, but well, only is about four minutes. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if a few things I'm gonna try and do on this uh, next couple of episodes is I'm gonna get out of the base. I know I've been spending a lot of time in here. I love it here, but I need to adventure out a little bit. Maybe build something at spawn. I haven't done that yet. Oops. Now what does I want to do? Well, that just automatically went in there. Oh, come on. Hurry up. It's a long timer, too, isn't it? Uh, we got about... It's almost there. But, yeah. So... Oh, I can't build anymore. In a few seconds, we're going to be heading over to spawn. And I'm going to be starting to set up what I want to build. Come on, hurry up. Here we go. Nope, oh, there they go. There they go. Wow, that was fast. I should have used these in a long time ago. That is fun. And there we go. We have a functioning uh, sugar cane farm. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to grab a few things. And I think I actually have one in my inventory. Yeah, I did a lot of nether quartz grinding over there. And there we go. We got our concrete. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and I will catch you all in just a few minutes. Or a few seconds for you, but a few minutes for me at spawn. All right, everybody. I am back at spawn. And we see Zero Derps building something that looks great, by the way. Now, what I was going to build is going to be right over here. And most of you will probably not guess this. I've told a few people about it. But I'm going to use this island right here. For a neat little uh, thing. I think everyone will be able to see it from here. Now, I want to build it up quite a bit. Now we're just going to get the foundation done today. It says three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want it to kind of be above a lot of other things. Let's see, right about. Let's go ahead and just use up all these. That's a, is that an elephant? It is an elephant. That is very funny. I have never noticed that before. All right. Now, I have to remember which one of these has stone in it. This one. Let's go ahead and get a stack out. Now, what I'm going to want to do is go out. Let's see. I want this to be 14 by 14, which I know is kind of strange for being in Minecraft. But, hey, why not? One, two. 
So it's actually a 15. 1, 2, 3. That says 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Got that one. 1, 7. And another thing I'm also going to talk about doing is actually getting a... Uh, a second account so I can do the really awesome uh, oh I didn't count the third person time lapses so I think that'd be kind of cool oh too many yeah I have too many tools too and I just lost that piece oh well All right, so I think this is correct. I'd have to look again. Basically, let me go ahead and set this up and I will come back in just a moment. All right, everybody, I actually have the first bit made. It's looking kind of interesting already and like I said, I don't want to completely spoil it yet, but this is how it's going to be. So this is probably a good ending point for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. And don't forget to check out all the other great YouTubers on this channel, or not channel, on this uh, server. Uh, their links are down in the description down below. Any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And until next time, everybody, this is EnigmaCraft86 saying, take it easy. Later.